Hi guys, in this quick video I'm going to take you through the RSS Bomber plugin, uh, show you what it does and show you how to install it. Um, first of all, I'm just going to work on my blog, johndean.org. Uh, now normally a WordPress blog only has one RSS feed and to get the RSS feed you normally put forward slash feed on the end of your blog name. Um, so to get the RSS feed from my site it would be johndean.org forward slash feed. Now, if we just go and choose a blog post, uh, this one has got some comments on, so it's a good example. Now, I'm actually in the blog post, Focus to Take Action, and there are some comments at the bottom. Now, if you try adding uh, forward slash feed to that, you will get the RSS feed for the comments of that blog post. Now, what the RSS bomber does is it actually changes that and it gives you the RSS feed for the full blog post. So I'm going to go in, I'm gonna, now I'm going to show you how to install the plugin um, and then I'll show you the result afterwards. So if we head on into your uh, WordPress dashboard and on the left hand side where it says plugins, click on add new then click on upload and then we need to find the zip file which has got the RSS bomber plugin so let's click on browse and you need to locate it wherever you've saved it on your computer and then open that and then click on install and now you have to put in your host details for where your blog's hosted where your installation is uh, mine's already pre-filled I'm gonna click on proceed and then you'll see now it says unpacking installed and it's been installed successfully so all I need to do now is click on activate plugin so the plugin is now active so what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to flip back into the other screen and beforehand where we've got uh, my site the category and the post with slash feed on the end previously gave you comments um, feed now I'm going to do a reload and you'll see now the actual feed for that is the full blog post feed. It's no longer the comments, it's the actual content of the individual blog post. What this does is it means that you can put slash feed um, on the end of every single blog post and then you can go and submit every single one of those feeds to all the RSS aggregators and directories and those will syndicate out and you'll get more positions in the search engine results so instead of just being able to submit your main blog feed so johndean.org forward slash feed you can now have an individual feed for every post and every page on your WordPress blog just going to take you back inside the plugins and down on the settings down here we've got RSS bomber uh, I'm just going to show you in those settings because not only does the plugin allow you to just go and grab an RSS feed for every single post and page on your site that you've already created, what will happen now, when a new post is created on your site, then you will automatically get an email from the system telling you that you've got a new post published on your blog and giving you the URL uh, to an email. Now this is especially handy if you've got some blogs with multiple authors where other people post on your blog or maybe there's some sort of automated posting on there it saves you going to grab the feeds uh, URLs every single day they just get emailed to you so what you do is you put your email in this box up here um, if you and um, if you need any other people to know the feeds as well uh, you can put more than one email in and separate it by a comma and then the actual message of the email will just say hi a new post has been published on your blog below is the feed and then you've got the code that inserts the feed don't change the code you can change anything else anyway that's it that's as simple as it gets it's a very very one click installation and once it's done it's all working it's on autopilot uh, any questions send them into the support uh, that, uh, address that you got on the welcome email